not your average guy never mind your own YouTube channel and I have got something interesting one of you subscribers Patrick Noon said you have to have a look at master air screw because these are propellers for the Phantom 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 as well and they are supposedly more silent more efficient and have a longer flight time <laughs> well that is worth investigating so i wrote them an email and i said i want to check them out so they sent me a couple of propellers and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do a test here let's open the, the package you get some uh, safety instructions you get a tissue i don't know why that is you get installation instructions and the stuff that you need to change the mechanism of the propellers and this is not the quick release system you have to screw them on but if they are more silent and more efficient i think that could be worth it and then uh little screws and everything these are the propellers i don't know if you guys can see it but this is broader and also it's at a higher angle than, than the normal ones. It kind of makes sense because the speed over here is not as fast as, as over here. So probably you need a, a larger angle over here to be effective. And also there is a little tip it's bent upwards and that's not the case with the normal ones and i think you have a lot of turbulence when the propellers ro rotate over here and you can see uh tips like this on the on the wings of airplanes too i think this reduces the noise or something so what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch the drone with the standard propellers with a full battery i'm going to measure how long it takes then I'm going to put on the, the other propellers and then I'm also going to measure how long it will fly with a full battery. And also I will try to measure the noise level. Maybe you can already hear it, but we're going to test it and see. I'm going to do that indoors because it only needs to hoover and then go down and then wind and everything. It won't, won't have any influence. Let's launch it as quickly as That's a lot of noise! A lot of noise! Wow, wow, wow. That was a lot of noise, man. Poo. It was at 5% battery. It said it wanted to land, but it didn't do it. I thought, okay, I will make it land. Otherwise, I don't know what it's gonna do. 
So it means in the other test, I also have to land at 5%. I'm at 2145, so let, like 22 minutes. And that was a lot of noise, by the way. Okay, now I'm gonna change propellers. So I have to put the front of the aircraft like this, and then that is black and that is silver nut. Unfortunately, you cannot see that on the propellers, but I think I'm gonna glue the nuts onto the propellers. So this one has to be a silver one. And you need a special tool for this. I used the old screws, but as you can see, it's not completely tight. The old screws are a little bit different, so you have to use the new screws. And, and for sure, I'm going to glue the screws on the propellers. And it's not that, that bad to get them on. You know, it's, um, it's, it's just as quick as anything else. And everything is beeping now. So DJI Go app crashed. I restarted it, but I couldn't get connection. Now it says it's disconnected from the aircraft. And it says it's 23% battery. But that's just not correct. I thought I'm gonna get it out of the air because I thought it would be about 5%, but I couldn't be sure. So I wanted to show the timer on the camera but I accidentally hit something and it said zero. Nevertheless I found out it was still walking. It has been in the air for 23 minutes but I can double check it based on the footage that I have but I need to know the battery level. So I'm gonna disconnect the transmitter and reconnect it. What? It's, it's the aircraft that's beeping? I don't even know what's beeping. It's my Android tablet that's beeping. What is this? Now it stops beeping. What is this? I want to know the battery level. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to put on this one and put on this one. I updated DJI Go app and it's so slow now and uh, now it's consuming battery too of course so I think I'm afraid I'll have to do this again I just had a quick connection and it said zero battery and probably the battery is totally gone I think it's better if I do it again <laughs> Twenty five minutes. The DJI Go app crashes again. It was it was good. It was good. I think they did a firmware update and
Okay guys, I did two tests. So that means four flights. And this is the result. The green one is the standard Phantom 4 Pro DJI propellers. This orange mango kind of color, that is the master air screw. The first test I tried to land when the battery was 5%. But my Go app was crashing again because there is a firmware update and a, and a new app and now it's crashing again. So I was not able to land the second flight exactly at 5%. I didn't know exactly what it was. So the length, I, I'm not sure how it was. And in the second test, it was flying until the battery was really like zero it was flying 25 minutes with the master air screw propellers this flight it was at one percent over here and then i decided like i don't want to drain the battery completely so i had it landing but with the other one percent left it might have been a little bit longer than this but as you can see there is a significant difference between the two both I started with 98% battery. So there is a significant uh, difference and it's it's about two minutes. So on a full battery, you can fly two minutes longer when you're hovering. I will not say hovering anymore. I will say hovering. <laughs> Even my English is getting better. When you're hovering, you got two minutes extra. In a regular flight, you will not have 25 minutes. You have like, like 20 minutes or 90 minutes. So I think you may have like one and a half minute extra flight time with these propellers or at least one minute. And that is, well, wow. <laughs> Every minute counts, doesn't it? And then about the noise. I had the recording level higher in these two and I put it a little bit lower on these two. And I think if you compare them, you can see it, it looks very similar. But, but one thing that is very significant to me is that the level of noise of the DJI propellers is quite consistent over here. And on, on this channel, it's a, a little bit more fluctuating and you have to understand that the microphones are like this. You can see over here, uh, you got one directed like this and one directed like this. And if I take this one, the left channel is, um, is more. And if I tick on this one, the right channel is more. So this, it's pointing to the left, even though the microphone itself is on the right side. But this is the left channel, this is the right channel. So the left channel is pointed towards the drone. That's this one. And this one is uh, away from the drone. And you get a, a lot more fluctuation on the right channel than on the left channel. The reason uh, must be that because it's pointing perpendicular, on, on the drone, you get a lot more Doppler effect over here. And this is directed towards the drone, so it, it gets all the noise straight. And on this channel, it's more consistent. But as you can see, on this left channel, there's not much difference. Maybe what I can do in the editing software, let's try to do that. So what you got here, this third channel, this is the master air screw and this is the DJI props. And as you can see, the, the DJI props are more consistent. They have more the same kind of level and the master air screw, it's fluctuating more. It's going up and down more than the DJI props. So sometimes it's lower sometimes it's higher too so it's hard to tell but i cannot say that there is a significant difference between the two and also i think that the frequencies the pitches are different uh in in the two i, I think there is some other kind of noises in here than in this one 
but because I'm quite at a short distance of, uh, of the drone, like one meter, if it only is five or ten centimeters closer to the microphones, you already get a difference in sound level. So even if there is a slight difference in favor of one or the other, this might even be due to the drone being a little bit closer or further away from the microphone. The point is, there is no significant difference. So I think we have to conclude that the noise level is similar. It's not the same, a little bit of, of different tones and pitches, but it's, it's similar. So the biggest difference is the efficiency and that it does seem that you have one and a half minute extra with the master air screw and, and that's worthwhile. So, uh, very interesting test. I mean, I never thought you could even gain flight time with a different kind of propellers. And putting them on or off is not even so much difference. But even if it's a little bit more work, uh, the extra time that you have is worthwhile. I'm going to keep them and I think I'm going to keep them on my drone from now on because uh, this just looks good. All right, thanks for watching. If you like the test that I do, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family who also like drones. Tweet them, you know, put them on Facebook and whatever. If you think there is any value in them. And if you want to see my next tests, my next adventures and whatever we can think of on this channel, subscribe. See you on the next video.